we can assure that the integrity of every game is upheld. Thank you. June 2nd, 2010, a date which will live in infamy for the Detroit Tigers and baseball fans across the nation. It was that day that Tiger pitcher Armando Galarraga was looking to make history in being the 21st player to have a perfect game. It was that day that Galarraga was looking to break the record for number of perfect games in a single season. It was that day that would find the importance of instant replay in Major League Baseball. For those who are unaware of what a perfect game is, a perfect game is one of the most rarest feats in all of Major League Baseball. It is so rare that it has only occurred 20 times in over a century's worth of play. A perfect game is when a pitcher faces the least amount of batters, the least amount of batters being 27. 27 batters come up to the plate, 27 batters step down. No one reaches first base. That evening at Comerica Park in Detroit, the Tigers hosted their central division rivals, the Cleveland Indians. Armando Galarraga of the Tigers would take the mound to pitch. For him and for everyone else in the stadium, it was just another day at the ball game. The first inning came and went. Three up, three down. The second inning and third inning would be the same. He cruised comfortably through the fourth and fifth inning and he successfully sailed through the sixth. By the seventh inning, not one Indian had successfully reached first base. Galarraga was now three outs away from victory. Three outs away from a chance at history. Three outs away from perfection. The first batter steps up to the plate. It's a long fly ball to the outfield. But no worries, the center fielder is there to grab it. Out number one. The second batter comes up to the plate, and it's a routine grounder to the shortstop. Out number two. Jason Donald, the 27th batter, comes to the plate. The atmosphere at Comerica is electric. Fans are ready to witness Major League Baseball's 21st perfect game. The pitch is thrown, and it's a routine grounder to the first baseman. Galarraga hustles over to first base, catches the ball, steps on the bag for out number three. The crowd roars. No one can believe their eyes. No one can fathom what has just happened at Comerica Park. Umpire Jim Joyce rules Jason Donald safe at first base. Perfection for Armando Galarraga had been lost. The Tigers did go on to win that game against the Indians, but the fact remains that Galarraga would lose his perfect game. He was robbed. The replays show Donald was undeniably out at first base, and the game should have ended in a joyous celebration. But one call by one man changed any chance of that. In a game that has been pent up on tradition of utilizing human judgment, it cost Galarraga a chance at history. For too long has baseball proceeded with butchered calls from umpires, and the commissioner of baseball has shown no evidence of a proper solution to the problem. The imperfect game, as many have come to call it, is only one in a recent trend of blown calls. Nicole Auerbach of US Today, USA Today put together an article that was devoted to some recent blown calls. One of the questionable calls came from the 2009 playoffs between a game between the Minnesota Twins and the New York Yankees. Twins catcher Joel Maurer hits a fly ball down the left field line. It lands and bounces into the stands. Umpire Phil Cousy rules that the ball is foul. The replay, however, would show that the ball unmistakably landed in fair territory. The replay would have allowed Joe Maurer a ground rule double. So what is the common trend in these blown calls? Human error. In a bang-bang play, an umpire only has a split second to make the right call. With replay, an umpire will get the chance to slow down the play to make a more accurate call. As of September 2008, Major League Baseball only allows umpires to review replay on questionable home run, home run calls. While this is a step in the right direction, baseball needs to expand their replay to further areas to assure the correct calls are being made. The replay on home runs has already proven effective in a short two-year history. According to Jason Beck of MLB.com, instant replay has been used 78 times on home run calls, with 27 overturned. 27 out of 78. That translates into a percentage of 34.6% being overturned. Now, 34.6% may not seem like a lot, but let's put this into baseball terms. A 34.6% would translate into a 346 batting average. 
Where would 346 rank amongst the uh, baseball's greatest all-time hitters? Need I say more? Now, even umpires are coming forth in their agreement on expanded replay. In an article by Paul White of USA Today, infamous umpire of the 1985 World Series, Don Dakinger, is quoted as saying, they have to start somewhere, and now's the time. Umpire Tim McClellan is quoted as saying, I think more and more umpires are coming around to increased use of replay. When umpires begin to warm up to the idea of expanded replay, one wonders why it hasn't already been instituted. Now it has been argued that replay will slow down the game of baseball even further than what it is. Replays generally take three to five minutes according to Paul White's article in USA Today. But I ask you, would the time it takes to review a call be worth it to ensure that the correct call is made? Imagine yourself as Armando Galarraga going for that perfect game. Would you really care that your victory celebration has been delayed for five minutes? Imagine yourself and your team in the World Series and you lose because of a blown call at home plate. Would you really mind the game being delayed three minutes to ensure that you have legitimately won the World Series? With technology that we have in place, it's confusing why baseball chooses to remain in the Stone Age. I strongly urge any sports fan that believes in fair competition to petition to the owner of your favorite baseball teams and to the commissioner of baseball for demanding the expanded use of replay. With enough support for instant replay, we can assure that the integrity of every game is upheld. Thank you.